My coverage of Computex 2017 is brought to you by MSI, EVGA, Tesoro, G-Skill, and Cooler Master. All right, guys, I'm at Corsair. They have way too much stuff, so I'm not even going to do an intro for this video. I'm just going to start talking about stuff. So let's start with the big guns. This is the a concept slate. It's a concept design, but I asked Corsair, and it sounds like they're actually going to build this thing. They're actually going to launch it. Uh, since it's huge, it's actually a double wide case. It's got uh, two banks of 120 millimeter fans in the front, and uh, according to them, you can fit dual 480 millimeter rads at the front, as well as dual 480 millimeter rads at the top. It's got a curved tempered glass piece across the front, as well as big ass tempered glass side panel. Now you might wonder how much a case of this size would actually weigh. It's actually not terrible when it's not loaded down with stuff. It's only about 40 pounds they said. However, uh, this one as it is currently outfitted weighs 125 pounds so probably gonna need a two-man lift team to, to, to bring this around or whatever. Now of course a case of this size uh, wouldn't be adequate to just put one system in it so it can fit two. Uh, it goes all the way up to SSI CDB size for the motherboard so for your main system you can fit a really really huge uh, I'm imagining you know dual socket boards and everything like that would fit in here and then there is an ITX mount that's kind of in the bottom left of the case so you can fit a small ITX system in there whether you want a dual gaming system or set up a NAS in the bottom with a, a really high-end gaming system on the top, anything like that. Now, you can't rotate the motherboard or anything like that, unfortunately. However, uh, the, the radiator mounts at the front and at the top are on these slide rails. They're actually uh, derived from server slide rails. Uh, they're very nice and just pop in and out like... Uh, like like drawers basically so you can slide the, the rads out so you can mount your fans or do any maintenance work or, or that kind of thing or just to make it more convenient uh, particularly if you're setting up a water-cooled system because water-cooled systems are probably going to be what a case of this caliber is used for. Uh, you might also notice there's actually some Corsair liquid cooling components in there some custom uh, individual parts uh, I'll talk more about those in just a second. The tempered glass panels themselves, uh, you can actually remove, so that's very helpful for transportation since the tempered glass is a large portion of the weight, but you can just basically open up the side panel, lift that tempered glass panel uh, off, and then that will allow you to, you know, uh, reduce the weight or get in there to work on stuff. Three different chambers uh, or different, different areas. Uh, the area at the bottom is for power supply. Uh, towards the front, you have a uh, sort of a, an area where you can put SSDs. Uh, you also, on the back, uh, have these two French doors that fold out. This is for cable management, and this is because you got tempered glass on both sides, and they wanted to make sure everything was clean, even if you were, um, you know, even, even if you're looking at the opposite side. So um, it's sort of a flat panel there, uh, but you can open them up, and that will give you access to the cable management area as well as the SSD mounting area, um, and, and then you can mount your SSDs. So I, I think this system is going to cost. They're not giving us. Uh, a price on it, but it's going to cost between like $400 and $900. That's about as close as we can get right now. And um, they do say that they're probably going to launch this and actually bring this to market within the next two or three months. So uh, keep an eye out for the concept slate. I'm not sure if they're going to change the name for it or anything like that, but it's exciting. Here's the concept curve, another concept case. This is basically a 780T, which is made out of carbon fiber. Um, so according to them, the carbon fiber work on this actually curving it around, like that's not a skin, that's actual carbon fiber. So the production of a case like this is going to be very expensive. Again, it's just a concept, they're like, all right, we took, we took the slates and we made a big old case. Let's take uh, the concept curve and make a case out of really, really high-end materials. You also might notice uh, the new design for their uh, Corsair LED fans on the front with sort of a uh, ring going around the outside. That looks pretty cool. And uh, those are, of course, RGB LED. They're set up as orange right now because that's the accent color for this case. And there is a beautiful system, again, built in here. So um, very well done. No idea if they're actually going to ever launch this one. This one seems a little bit less likely than uh, the slates. But if you're interested in the concept curve, uh, let Corsair know in these comments. And, uh, you know, I don't know. Do you guys want a carbon fiber case? Should be lighter, should be more lightweight than steel. That'd be cool. Next up, we have a Sync Itch demo. Basically, Corsair has teamed up with MSI. MSI uh, gave Corsair access to their API, and Corsair has taken their expertise when it comes to programming RGB lighting, which they've been working on for quite a few years. They've been developing their RGB software for quite a few years to work with their RGB LED uh, uh, keyboards and peripherals. What they have here is a complete solution 
that allows you to connect a keyboard, a mouse, they've got the mouse pad, they've got the case, and the case that we're actually looking here is set up in a 570X case, and this is actually a special version of the 570X because it has mirrored uh, tempered glass panels, which means that when the lights are off, which you can do with this software, and that's like, I'm gonna list that as the, the key feature. You can turn everything off. You're watching a movie or anything, quick key press and everything turns off, system is completely dark. Turn the lights on and uh, you can have, you know, right now you're looking at your pretty, pretty typical rainbow bridge or whatever going through everything, but there's so much more you can do with this solution. One thing I want to point out is that the LEDs here are facing outward. Normally that's kind of a no-no when you're putting LEDs in a case, you want them facing inward, but since the tempered glass is kind of darkened, it actually gives it a really cool, cool look. Uh, now the fans that are up here on the front are HD 120s, yes. Other than that, the configuration that you have is, of course, a Corsair, a Corsair RGB LED keyboard, mouse, mouse pad, mouse pad, and the LED strips are all plugged into the Lighting Node Pro. Lighting Node Pro is then connected to the motherboard via USB. Now, bear in mind to individually address uh, LEDs like this, you cannot just have your typical RGB connection, so you are going to need to use this with Corsair's hardware, but that gives you, again, the ability to address each one individually, and they were showing some really cool demos. Uh, whether you want just the colors to go up and through the case and bounce back, uh, you can do reactive typing on the keyboard that actually goes from the keyboard to the peripherals into the case and then back out of the case, as well as a ton of other various lighting demos, and again, since Corsair has been working on their software for so long, this is just, it's by far the most robust example of like crazy RGB configuration uh, with a computer as well as the peripherals that I have yet to see. So again, this is called Syncit. Uh, it's a complete ecosystem that Corsair has been working on for a while. Oh, and I also want to point out that um, it's connected up to each Lighting Node Pro, you can have up to six strips. So that's a th uh, and each uh, LED strip here counts as one strip, and each fan might count as one strip as well. But that's what allows them to individually address each one and actually send that lighting up through the strips, through the fans, and and I just. You know, I, I was getting jaded with LED, with RGB LEDs up till now, but my excitement has been renewed. Good job, Corsair. Here's a quick look at Corsair's refreshed Hydro Series. Uh, Corsair, of course, has been a mainstay in all-in-one liquid cooling for quite some time. But they've actually had RGB available on their uh, actual CPU pump and block for quite some time as well. This is the new design. Uh, it's just you got more lighting going on there. It's not just the Corsair logo. You've got sort of a accent lighting around the outside, as well as another uh, sort of accent around the Corsair logo on the actual block itself. And uh, they've upgraded this. It looks like they're, they're at least considering a 360 millimeter rad version. And they've also upgraded the fans. Uh, they're actually maglev fans. And I love mag maglev fans. Very good performance and very, very quiet. Um, and hey, it's, uh, it's about time I think Corsair refreshed this uh, because you know the, their existing ones are pretty nice, but I like the look of these, especially if you want to coordinate them with the RGB. So I mentioned Corsair custom liquid cooling and here it is. Did you, were you interested in, in custom liquid cooling your computer? Were you interested in purchasing custom liquid cooling components from Corsair? I mean, it makes sense. They've been doing all-in-ones for forever. So this is their lineup. Uh, they're, they're still working on this, but uh, they said they're probably going to be launching it within the next couple months. Uh, it looks like we have nickel-plated copper. Uh, I believe we also have some acrylic, or this might be acetol, or, uh, I don't know how that's pronounced. Um, but here's like an example of one of their, uh, their base plates for their CPUs. Uh, really, really clean milling on that. Looks, looks very well done. Definitely very professional. Um, but they're, they're going to launch these. They, again, said probably within the next couple months. So you guys are going to have more options when it comes to making custom liquid cooling setups. I also like the designs they've done, like with the caps on the uh, CPU blocks. Really clean. Uh, again, a little bit more they're kind of angular, shaved off the corners. Yeah, very distinct from some of the other stuff that's available in the market right now. Here's a look at uh, the current GPU block. This is going to be a bit, uh, compatible with Intel standard Founders Edition uh, 1080, 1080 Ti cards. I believe 1080 Ti is what this one is specifically made for. They're going to start off supporting the Founders Editions, uh, and then they're also potentially going to branch out and bring you other variants uh, that will allow you to use custom design cards from the likes of MSI and ASUS and that kind of thing. They've even got some fittings down there on the end. So this is going to be a complete solution. It's not just going to be a few different parts. You're going to be able to get an entirely custom liquid cooled system using all Corsair components. Backplate here for the CPU. Uh, this looks like a, oh yeah, this is a, this is a channel uh, thing so you can connect up. This looks like a three-way SLI configuration. So that's pretty cool as well. Uh, and then uh, as far as the, they don't have any radiators on display over here, but they did have at least one reservoir 
and they said they're going to have uh, both acrylic as well as glass options. Glass reservoirs do cost a bit more, but they're super nice and they do a great job at resisting getting cloudy. And finally, keyboards. You guys, you guys are probably very aware that Corsair makes keyboards, but what's this one down here? Look, it's a K68 mechanical keyboard, and this one is unique, uh, not just because it's available with red backlighting or blue backlighting that uh, you can see right here, but it also comes with, a, with an aquarium. Yeah, you get an aquarium fish tank right there. So you can raise uh, tropical fish, any, any variety of, of uh, fish that you want, right down there in the bottom. And then you can actually type in commands to those fish on the keyboard that they will recite back to you, or you can have them uh, swing, swim, swim in, uh, in sequence with each other. Or um, Obviously, I'm making all this stuff up, but uh, Corsair now has the K68, which is dust and spill resistant, and they are demonstrating it in this case, which it's kind of hard to see through. But look, there's water in the keyboard. The keyboard still works. That's the main point. And finally, Corsair got me flowers, just, just to say thank you. That's, that's very, very kind of Corsair to get me flowers. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thumbs up button as always. Like, the, the like button and the thumbs up button are the same thing. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more coverage from Computex 2017. A final big thank you to my sponsors, of course, G-Skill, Cooler Master, EVGA, MSI, and Tesoro. Be back with more coverage very soon. We'll see you then.